Nice evening out there. Yeah, work. very nice. good evening. And we're kind of in the middle of that warm up, so it hadn't gotten hot. It's not cold. It's just about perfect. Yeah. Just like the porridge. Just, just All right. a little breeze. Yeah, <laughs> nice. All right, let's start with this. Speaking of porridge and the three little bears, check this out. <laughs> a bear walks in. He's like, dum, dum, dum. Oh, hey. this guy's asleep on the couch. You see him sprawled out there? Okay, amidst a pretty messy situation yeah, here. Don't... He hears something. Who's coming in the door? Is he, is he wearing his bacon pajamas? He is. He's got bacon wrapped. Oh. Scallop pajamas on. Always a mistake. Yeah, always a mistake. <laughs> well, not always, well, but it is in this always. case. All right. There are so, times. So this guy, he's checking out the door. He's like, is this really <laughs> happening to me? Is there really a bear peeking in the door? And the bear's right there looking in at him. And he's like, well, am I going to take on the bear? Am I not going to take on the bear? He yells at the yeah. bear. He's like, is the bear going to stop? Bear's like, no. So anyway, as it turns out, bear sits there in the corner for the better parts of about five minutes while the guy just battles back and <laughs> forth with him to see if he'll eventually leave. Eventually the bear does leave. <laughs> and that's what we're oh. left with. But can you imagine being woken up out of a dead sleep no. with a bear in your no, living room? Is... Man. Plus, maybe it's time to maybe Scary. clean up a little. No <laughs> yeah, no just kidding. a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's what attracted it's... the bear there. Yeah, what do you think's going on? You think there could be a hand sandwich in here? Oh, we got some Cheetos on the <laughs> floor. We, we got, got at least a few <laughs> Cheetos. Yeah, we got absolutely. all kinds of bear bait floating around. Oh, are you kidding me? Some Bacos underneath here? Not you know good. they're there. All right, here's a look at what's going on. 70 degrees in the metro area. North northwest winds at 12 miles an hour. All is quiet out there. Dean mentioned it. Temperature's about perfect today. And they're going to be nice tomorrow, but we're going to start getting into the warm territory. But this time of year, not all that strange. 50s to the north, 60s out east, and down to the south. 60s and 70s. We still have that ridge of high pressure, but it's starting to break down to our west. What that means for us is we could see a few more clouds across the north here throughout the next couple of days and a little more of a west to east flow across the area. So that's going to allow for continued warm ups as well across most of the state here. We will see the chance for a sprinkle or two along, along rather a weak front to the northeast here over the next 24 to 48 hours, but that doesn't look like a big deal. Overall, we're going to see more sun than anything else and temperatures continuing to rise. Into next week, there are going to be some changes, though. We've been talking about this, and it does look like it's going to come to fruition. We will have a storm that will drop down to our west, but as this storm sits here, it's not going to immediately come rolling right on through. So what impact will it have? Well, it may end up, well, first of all, it's going to crank up the winds, but it may end up drawing a little bit of moisture into the east side of the state. And we'll have that dividing line, which we call the dry line, the line between dry air to the west, in our case, and moisture to the east here. And along the dry line, we tend to get lift, and that lift helps to form storms. So you guys across the east side of the state, mountain midweek next week, could have a chance to get some storms going here. We could even see a few severe storms. When we get this type of setup, Severe storms are not uncommon, so we'll wait and see how this thing shakes out. But that could be one of the impacts of that storm sitting to our west because it's not going to roll through in any sort of significant way throughout much of next week, and we do need it to. Check out what's going on January through May. Our moisture has been way low, and in fact, if you take our numbers, look at these numbers. Over the past two and a half years, we've taken our rain total, 15 0.24 inches total. The average that we should have during that same time period, 21.17 inches, we're at a deficit of almost six inches. On the positive side, the long range forecast for the summer and winter is out. It looks pretty good, and we're going to take a look at that coming up tomorrow, but it is going to be interesting here. But we got a shot to do better than average coming up over the next six months or so, courtesy of El Nino. 60s and 70s across southern Colorado. Sun and clouds, cool start, but still a nice day. Northwest looks pretty good as well, but you will notice the winds in the afternoon. 77 in Cuba, 84 out in Farmington across the southwest. Plenty of sunshine, 90 TRC, 87 Socorro. Down in Deming, 91 degrees. Over to the southeast, temps continue to rise, and Check it out. We're close to 100 on Sunday, 99 in Roswell. You can bet Carlsbad's going to be right there as well. 84 Santa Rosa, 77 in Morrow Springer, 69 in Mora. Over the northern mountains, we'll start it off in the 20s and 30s and then warm it up into the 50s, 60s, and 70s, including Santa Fe tomorrow at 77 degrees. Really nice there. 80 to Harris, 81 out in Edgewood, and finally here in the metro area. We'll top it out tomorrow in the 80s with sun and clouds. Northwest winds breezy at times, but definitely not windy quite yet. But it does look like the winds will crank up Sunday, Monday, Tuesday as that system sits to our west. And if you want to talk more weather on Twitter, let's crank it up at KRQE Mark. And why not? Yeah, yeah I mean, what else are you going to do? What else time. are you going to do? You probably got a million things to do, but do <laughs> this right. anyway. Thanks, Mark.